helping the nation build a robust knowledge-based economy, the Royal Commission Yambu sector of colleges and institutes will release the first batch of the executive MBA graduates this year. The seeds of this ambitious and rewarding program were sown when Dr. Ahmed Dabroom, Director General for the Royal Commission Colleges and Institutes in Yambu, signed a memorandum of agreement with the Chancellor of the University of Indianapolis, Mr. Viserys Botopoulos, in Athens in 2011. Saudi as well as expat students now have the opportunity of a lifetime right here in Gambu to attain an international degree from one of the top universities in the world with the same exacting standards of education as found in the USA and Europe. The Media Center at RC Yambu Colleges and Institutes is pleased to bring you the reactions, feedback and aspirations of the students and teachers of the Executive MBA program provided by the University of Indianapolis and the Yambu Industrial College, part of the RC Yambu sector of colleges and institutes. This program is uh, a state of uh, a state of mind, uh, a set of tools, and a foundation of confidence. And don't miss this chance to join this program. Yumba Industrial College and University of Indianapolis have joined hands to bring out these fine EMBA graduates. This student will have the first graduation ceremony at the Athens campus and it will be a proud moment for all of us. No one wants to get stuck in lower level management. This is a chance for these students to move up in their organization. One thing that I enjoy most is the enthusiasm of the students, which is um, evidential of how much value they place on the uh, program. The course is actually is on Wednesday and Thursdays, which is very convenient. And uh, the timing even uh, for the classes are also convenient. You are here in the same area, in the same uh, living area, in, uh, in the same location. Plus of that, uh, you will get international degree. Of course, I did not hesitate a second to join the program. I always seen it as an added value to my career, personal career. Of course, uh, the contribution to my work field and area, to my superiors and to my colleagues. The executive management program at the University of Indianapolis is accredited by the ACBSP. To maintain accreditation, you have to go through certain reviews or audits periodically. Sometimes it could be annually, sometimes it could be biannual. Sometimes depending on what the reviewing bodies have found, they could always come back and check. Sometimes they do periodic surprise checks to make sure that you are still in compliance with the rules and regulations for which we are accredited. So this gives credibility to programs and a lot of universities try very hard to attain some of these um, accreditations because of the value that it has to the program. Uh, I was looking at actually for a uh, university, um, American university to have my master's for and uh, now it is here in Yumba industrial city which is actually uh, perfect for me. The knowledge which I'm having here is actually the which, which, was, uh, which I was looking for actually at the beginning. I want to re really have the knowledge to be involved in the business world these days. Uh, my organization uh, recognized that well, uh, that the employee who uh, can develop himself, he can also develop the organization. So I think that will, uh, I will benefit from this program in my uh, organization. With the MBA program, I had uh, very sound perception, good concept. So while I speak to my colleagues, my management, my customers, my uh, family, friends, and anybody, they feel there is a difference. This program is um, a leadership program. And um, this subscription we have 
from participants it's is that of people who are already in um, responsible positions in industry and um, they clearly see how this program will help to further their careers and um, so it's quite an exciting experience to be part of this team and discuss issues that really do matter out there in the working world. Teaching skills are actually noticeably very high and very easy for us actually to understand. So they shared both the academic theoretical part and of course the international experience part and uh, dealing with every course daily and uh, with the group around us, international, different nationalities, not all of them Saudis, different backgrounds, different uh, uh, industries and work areas. Although we all work here in Yamba, some of, some of us came, come from all the way from Medina and other cities every weekend just to attend the course. And uh, it's very, very rich of experience and information knowledge sharing between all of us. Experience without theory is blind, but the theory without experience is mere intellectual play. Consequently, the real innovation happens when we combine what we have with what we acquire from our interaction with the world. Our executive MBA program does exactly this. The teaching methodology we adopt here is that uh, taking a cue from their practical experiences, linking that with the th theory here so that I can easily understand the theories. That's what the methodology we adopt. And also we take occasionally case studies and uh, certain discussions on events happened in their, their own company. And uh, this methodology will really uh, help them and also benefit them to link the theory and the professional practice. Eighty percent of the information I got it from the uh, doctor or from the lecturer and 20 persons are from my colleagues because they have a lot of experience and they, they brought the, the all problems and all cases and we study it here in, in the classroom so this this helped me out to, to just to share my problem and it will be it will be solved so we have a very um, young age not really fresh graduates from uh, bachelor degree, but they are uh, young uh, guys with about three to four years experience and some of us about 28 years experience with 50 years old and stuff like that and so you can imagine diversity of information, diversity of knowledge shared between professors and uh, I don't want to say students but <laughs> colleagues. I have in small uh, groups in, in the class um, give us the opportunity to ask the teacher more so we can gain more knowledge. If we have m many doubts about any information or any uh, concept, we can ask more, we can work together as a team to produce a better quality. The best uh, thing in this program is to gather different experience from different organizations here. So we can share the experience in addition to the scientific topic. Personally, I benefit from, from the program, especially in the skills of leadership, or skills of uh, how can you supervise people, how can you lead them to uh, achieve the objective of the organization. It's a life chance opportunity with the quality of the information and the knowledge and the experience uh, that's real something I will pay for someone else to do it if, if they have the gut to go for it. It's a demanding uh, process, uh, it's an investment in our future. If you are not supported financially, I will tell you take a loan and come to the program because you are you cannot find a program like this one. I strongly advise the new batches and new colleagues who are willing to join the program to take action and join straight away because there is a many points we they will get out of it such as the self-development no uh, colleagues people who can share with them the experience and spend their time in a good and nice place to to study and memorize our 
methods.